yeah, yeah, news yeah. of the week, uh, March, first week of March. Uh, first thing that comes to mind is this week, two big German players launched two very small cars. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the Mercedes-Benz A45 AMG. Yes, okay. the new one. Yeah, the new one. And then? And the BMW M2. M2, yeah. M2. Uh, well, what stands out about these two, uh, the comparison? Uh, have you heard anything about the M2? Yeah, apparently uh, the magazines, uh, car magazines have touted the M2 as the new legend. Uh. The new legend. Yeah, I don't know what that means. They are because... losing their tits over it. Uh. Yeah. Uh, 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 it reminds them of the old E30 M3. Uh, uh. M3, yeah. Uh. I have driven the old A45, which uh. was a pre-facelift. Uh. A pre-facelift. Uh. I uh, don't know how much they've changed. Uh. I tell you, sometimes facelift can make a difference. Yes, and especially with Mercedes and BMW. Yes, they do when make they, difference. When they facelift, yeah. they really go Correct. beyond the face. Correct. Like they go underneath and they tweak up. But how does it handle uh, A45? Pretty good. Uh. Uh, it's a front wheel drive. Uh. It's front wheel drive. Uh. It, it doesn't understand too much. It doesn't understand yeah. too much. I'm sure you pushed it. Uh. I pushed it. We drove it in Sepang. Oh, you drove it in yeah. a proper... Uh. Yeah. Flooring in. So yeah, uh, I mean, looks-wise, the A-Class is... I, I personally like it. Uh. Yeah. I personally like it. I think it's I think proportionate. Just, uh, just drove us by. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I have not driven the A45, uh, but from what Subhash says, it's it doesn't disappoint. It uh. doesn't disappoint. Uh, I don't know. Uh. But uh, I am a rear-view drive guy. Uh. <laughs> I, I, I have Pure some honest, prejudice uh, against uh, your floor-mounted pedals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, so so the, the big story is... The big story the, is... The price. Uh. The price, uh, exactly. Because you're not... You're, they're charging a uh, 500,000 ringgit. Not exactly 500, but 498. 498. Yeah. 800. Uh. I, I ask you, uh, realistically speaking, in Malaysia, who can fling 500,000 into a car that is called an M2? That's the thing. They only, if I'm not mistaken, they only brought in two units. Oh, really? So, Why are we talking about it? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that they launched these two cars together, yeah. the A45 and the M2, yeah. uh, it really shows you how expensive it is. Eh? Yeah. Because when you compare it to the A45, eh, mm. which is slightly faster, mm. slightly more powerful, yeah. the A45 is 150,000 ringgit cheaper. 100, that, that's what you said. Eh? Yeah. You can buy an A45 AMG, and then if you bring it home and your wife give you face, you have one more car behind you, which is a BMW 2 Series uh, Active uh, Tourer. 150,000 ringgit, yeah. bah, two cars. You can buy exactly. the, you a can buy a car for your wife yeah. and a super fun car for yourself. Correct for the price of one M two. Yeah, uh, yeah. The second part of the news we are talking about today is the uh, uh, Jaguar launched the XE in Malaysia. It was Sorry. very pretty. Uh, I love the the lines. Uh, it was very like simplistic, it. Mm. and it was very thin and very wide. It felt a bit like the A five, uh, but with the uh, British pedigree. I'm the opposite of of you. Uh, actually, okay. Okay. I I am very turned off by, by the looks. Uh. Okay. I felt it was very lazy, especially if you're talking about British pedigree. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jaguar designed some of the most beautiful cars I've seen. Uh, uh, but the uh, XE is, is just lazy. Uh. The back looks like a Accord Euro. Well, the antithesis of laziness would yeah. be the new Lexus GS, which is very hardworking in looks. Try, yeah, okay. try so hard. Like, <laughs> we need 64 lines. Make it 65. It looks, it looks like a Predator mount, uh, like uh, that, and then like that, and then there was no, so when, many curves, you know. When Lexus first launched the new, what, what grill is that? Uh? I don't know what uh, they call Whatever, it. Like, spindle, we call it. Spindle yeah, grill. spindle grill. We call it the Predator mouth. Uh. Uh, 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 it looks like a Predator. It was aggressive. Uh. It yeah. still looks like one. It, no, uh, right now it looks like a confused Predator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I don't know what I want to buy. <laughs> It sounds like it looks like they are confident with design, but confidence has to have competence behind it. Yeah. They like, don't have the competence yet. I think Kia had because they brought in good people. Uh, Kia like, just hijacked the entire design Audi team stuff. of Audi, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they suddenly. Hey, wait a second! I see Audi everywhere. <laughs> Speaking of Mercedes, uh, that day we we're complaining about how the S four hundred H interior looks like a disco. Uh. Yeah. Ah, uh, blue, blue, blue. Uh, yeah, it looks like Uts, 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 Uts. <laughs> The Uppings have gone from Civic to S-Class. <laughs> I went back to check the 7 Series. Uh, yeah. It was blue. It was blue. <laughs> I'm really sure for both of these you can choose the color. I hope so. Uh. But I can see how a 50 year old German guy would like it. Uh. Uh, putting, blue. putting like German techno. Uh, um, 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, have you seen a techno Viking? Uh? Oh yeah. Uh. <laughs> what is that? There was, was a guy that looks like a Viking. Uh. Oh, and right. he was dancing... Uh, dancing as if, you know, imagine, just imagine a real tough tech, a Viking fella dancing with techno music. That's pretty cool. And, he goes, That's and quite cool. muscle all over him. That's quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, you see, we talk about everything other than a Jaguar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, which actually, coming back to the Jaguar, I, I find it very boring, that's why I didn't want to talk about it. Yeah, it's 
and the, the price uh, 340,000 exactly I think the only thing worth talking about is what goes through their mind when they price Mind you, uh, let me contextualize for you. In the UK, XE base and uh, three BMW 320i, mm. mm. uh, XE is cheaper. Why? Why is it that when it comes to Malaysia, a, a comparable product to a, a BMW 320i is selling yeah, 110,000 more expensive? Mm. What? What is going through their mind? Mm. Actually, we know Yeah, we know uh, but we cannot say uh. <laughs> Final piece of news of the day. Yeah. Are we, are we started? Yeah, yeah we started. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Proton is exporting again. Oh, yeah! Chile. Or Chile. Yeah. Chile. 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 Yeah. Chile. Yeah. I, I actually lived for two years in Chile and I've seen quite a number of Proton Viras. Oh, except wow. no Chilean knows that it is from Malaysia. Yeah, they're sending the new ones there, yeah. which I want to bring up because I think it's uh, part of a diplomatic thing uh, because Chile is seeking uh, trade relations with many countries around the world. And the way they measure themselves to get out of a, of a developing country status is to is the number of trade agreements they have with every country in the world, uh, and the numbers that they are importing is is not a lot, right? Yeah, it's what one they aim for one thousand or two thousand. One thousand. They 2, aim 000. for it, lah. They aim for it, but they haven't sent it yet because they're gonna they're gonna send three models. I right see. now, they only send the Preve. What else? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're gonna send the Saga, the oh. current Saga, not okay. the next Saga. Okay. And the Exora. Okay. I because think the Exora would sell there. The Exora, I think should so. or should. Of all yeah. the cars, of all Proton's cars, yeah. Exora seems the best price. Like it, it's good value for money. Yeah, correct. I thought about buying one. <laughs> you did for your family of eight. <laughs> I don't know. I thought about buying one. I saw it on the road and I was, I was. They are forcing the taxi drivers to use Exora. Yeah. The new Saga is one of the worst car to be used as a taxi. Yeah. Uh, have you sat at the back of a new Saga? Very uncomfortable. It's not only uncomfortable, it's nauseate, nauseating. Yes. Uh. You feel like I want to puke, right? Ah, yeah, you have the, the feeling? The sponges on the seats uh, mm. are basically sponge. You know, like, you know, the sponge you used to clean. You know. It feels like that. Like, it is the most unsuitable car to be used as a taxi and yeah. the forced taxi driver to use. See, every Hook time up. we do news, we talk about Proton because yeah. we love you. We, we love want Proton. to love you. <laughs> we, we want to. We are trying very hard. Uh, you are not that lovable. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Proton exported to other countries before, Turkey. Uh. Oh, I think they had a plant there. Yeah, they yeah. had a plant there. They still uh, export to Turkey, if I'm not mistaken. They're also part of the Middle East. Okay. Are they selling? They're selling a little bit. Huh? Like, what can they sell? I remember there was an event where first time Proton exported, I don't know to which country. Uh, they actually have a tel television uh, uh, special uh, that the whole country sat down and watched. Uh. I think that was in the 90s. Uh. They were exporting to what, the UK? Or? I don't know which country, uh, but there was a launch that the whole country literally sat down and watched. I did. Uh. Uh, and we are all very proud. Uh. Well, Proton, you the, hear that? No, we were once very proud of you. The, I mean, I was a kid. I was 12 years old. They launched the Satria. And uh, then there was this commercial with guys uh, riding horses on the, on the beach. Uh. Yeah. And then the Satria just showed up. I think I felt really proud uh, of that. Yeah, so fundamentally, we want to be proud of you. Uh. I mean, jokes aside, uh, uh, Proton, uh, you have sucked our money dry for many years. Uh. You have caused this country's automotive industry to tank uh, for many years. Uh. I mean, You've caused the Thailand automotive industry to Yeah, you single-handedly pull down an uh, uh, entire sector of, of industry in this country uh, and give it to Thailand and say, here, take this and slap me in my face. Uh, but yeah, we, we want to, but you guys have, have messed up, uh, to be honest. Uh, Proton, you guys have messed yeah, up. Yeah, if you don't already know, you guys fucked up. Uh, you guys uh, fucked up. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. We, you, we, we are still, because Malaysian, we are very forgiving people. Uh. Yeah. If you're willing to buck up and you're willing to pull up your socks, I think we we will give you a chance. Uh. I may not still buy a Proton, uh, just it, as I wouldn't I buy think, a Honda. I think, it, I think it would take a few years to establish the trust. Actually, I, the think, trust. I think we give it till the end of this year because the three models that they're coming out with, the Suzuki based models are supposed to be their, their new Proton. Like, environment. like Subaru, they focus on four wheel drive, they focus on bo boxer engine, and that's it. That's it. I mean, a good example also is just Perdo. <clears throat> they don't pretend to know how to make cars better than Japanese. Yeah. They just take they just whatever Japanese tech and then they make it usable for our roads. You sit inside a, a modern Peridot, you get a lot of small little features like all these hooks, the handbag snatch yeah. thing and all that. For, for tapau lah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no for, for, for snatch thieves. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. They've got a handbag uh, hook there okay. which wow. latches on and locks. Not so you, they can't, you, no one can smash your window, oh. just take the thing. Oh, that's 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 they can hold you at knife point lah, but they can't you know, just snatch So that's it. catered to our market lah. Yeah. Yeah, and figure out what works, and then just focus on yeah. You don't yeah. have to behave like you're a big car company when you're not. Like. Yeah, don't don't just lose uh, the ego, lose all these frills. Uh. Uh, just put your head down and work. Uh. Uh, uh, do what is important. Uh. Uh, Sell the cars that is that is important to the people, and 
and and and and and one day I uh, will stop making fun of you uh, and we'll take you seriously. Yeah, we'll be proud again. Yeah, we'll be proud of yeah, you. Yeah, make us proud again. Uh. We uh. want to be. Uh. Yeah. Yeah.